Welcome to the Merch Minds Podcast, where we discuss everything about the merch by Amazon business in the print-on-demand industry. Here are your hosts, Glenn and Young. What's up, everybody? Glenn with Hustler Hacks here with Young. Hello. And this is the Merch Minds Podcast. Episode uh, 27, I believe. 27. <laughs> Man, you know what? <laughs> I literally, you know, I was just telling you, Glenn, I literally just um, walked through my door. I was at my, I was uh, getting my taxes done. I was at my CPA's office for the uh, last 90 minutes. So my mind isn't working properly right now. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, I'm, for, I'm forgetting things. Um, but this is all I'm going to have to say. Uh, uh, kind of a weird way to start, off the, to start off the episode. Thank God for write-offs, okay? If it wasn't for yeah. write-offs, my ass would be in a lot of pain right now. Um, <laughs> and so yeah. this this kind of goes back to what we were saying a couple of episodes ago. Don't be cheap. Invest in your business and write that off. Okay. Yeah, you're uh, gonna have to go into full detail on this tax stuff. Oh, dude, and... it, it, it it completely saved my ass. <laughs> All right, so I guess before the tax write-off and before getting to the numbers, um, episode number 27, like you said, and it is sponsored by Merch Candy. And so they're a design agency. They offer professional quality shirt design for only $10 a design. Uh, no worry about coming up with any ideas because all their designs are niche research, ready to go, and uh, ready to be uploaded to all the major print-on-demand marketplaces. So if you want to give them a try, merchcandy.com slash merch minds and you'll get two free designs when you sign up so merchcandy.com slash slash merch minds and uh sign up today if you want to give that a try and um so we have the tax thing that you wanted to talk about but <laughs> we also need to get into the numbers which today i guess i'll start off with the numbers because today hasn't been that great but yesterday was a really good day. So I don't know what happened. Um, today, I think I'm only like 12 sales in. Usually by this time, I'm around 20 or so. Well, uh, yeah, that's really low. Yeah, yeah 12 um, today, yesterday. I think I finished the day with like um, 38 sales or something. So that one was good. Um, but today, for some weird reason, a little low. And um, I also think... I think I went down a bit too on on my uh, products live, so I did get more removed. Um, mm -hmm. I'm down to uh, eighteen hundred and twenty four products live, and I've been doing a lot of work with uh, with ideas. Um, I I probably came up with at least like fifty or sixty ideas ready to go. All checked them through trademark website, all that stuff. So. When I get back from this trip, I know I need to get like I need to get back into daily uploading because I know I, I stopped a little bit there and started researching again, but then I started doing more YouTube stuff. So for sure, that's gonna be my goal: daily uploading. I have to get back into it. Okay. What about your numbers? You said the last couple of days have been a little low. What about today? Yeah. So when you were when you and I were talking, I was kind of complaining about how low my numbers are. Uh, typically, I'm averaging right around 11 to 12 shirts, but the last three, four days, it's been about seven to eight. Uh, today's been actually decent. I'm at uh, 10 shirts as okay. of today. Uh, and uh, so, and it's what? Not even five o'clock yet, Pacific Standard Time. So uh, 10 shirts for the day so far, uh, 73 shirts. That's my seven-day average right now. Um, okay. Still, still a little low uh, compared to last month, where I was doing about ninety uh, to about a hundred, you know, for my seven-day average. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'll take ten for now. Um, not bad. And um, I, I'm at the ten spot as far as I'm able to upload. But I'm still only doing like about five per day, man. I, you know, this is something that you and I have been talking about, and I just can't do 10 shirts, man. I mean, in order for me to do 10 shirts, I think I'm going to – so I'm, I'm – every week, 
I'm doing FBA shipments. And in order for me to do uh, 10 shirts per day, I might, I might even have to have to cut back more on FBA. And instead of doing every week, maybe do every other week. Yeah. Because yeah, it's I all mean, about finding that balance. Cause with, with, yeah, with because all the, 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 the research part is just really, really, it's just, it's, it's very time consuming. Oh, and I will tell you this, um, like, as I was saying, a few minutes ago, I literally just got back from my CPA's office, and um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he was telling me. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly what he meant by this, but he was saying, uh, "Well, I'm, I'm not a numbers guy, right? You know, I'm, you know, whenever it comes to taxes, it just goes right over my head. Obviously, that's why I hire a CPA. But he was telling me, um, obviously, because this is the first year that I filed for." Uh, uh, the merch by Amazon royalties. He was saying mm -hmm. that's a better business model. Something about saving taxes or something when I file, yeah. compared uh -huh. to selling physical products like on FBA. I don't know what he meant by that, but again, he was saying that doing uh, merch is a better business model because I save money on taxes. So if you guys are accountants out there and you guys know what he meant by that, let us know because, like I said, when he said that. It just kind of went over my head, and I just heard the part about where I save taxes. So, um, <laughs> He's by, this is a great business model, Young, because there's no overhead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, but he did, he did mention that. So wh whatever he meant by that, um, uh, you know, I'm supposed to meet up with him again after next week. I told him I was going to take him out for a couple of beers, so maybe I'll have him clarify. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ask so. him. Ask him. Yeah, and you, and then you can report back to us and let us absolutely, know. absolutely. <laughs> so how did that go anyway? Um, well, like I was saying, man. I mean, thank God for write out uh, write offs. Um, and it goes back to what we were saying two episodes ago. Don't be afraid to invest in your business and write that off. I mean, yeah. it it really really saved my ass because uh, <laughs> I was I was writing off you know all kinds. Of, you know, first of all, I buy I purchase all my funds. Yeah, and that's that, you know those are write-offs. Um, uh, the softwares that I use write-off. Um, the services that I use, you know, I, you know, there was there was someone in our group the other day. They were complaining about, not and I, and I don't I don't want to put him on the hot seat because I know he's a good guy. But someone was saying that they don't want to pay for services because you know they're not making too much money at the time, you know, at the moment. And I get it. Me, yeah. I, I I'm using that service. I don't care. I'm writing it off. Yeah. And it, like yeah, I said, it, it, it saved me big time today. So you don't have to answer it, but is there a lot of damage that was done that you're going to have to, I guess, owe anything back or you're getting something back or I'm paying, I'm paying. Um, okay. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind telling you how much I'm paying. I'm paying oh. uh, 4k. Okay. Which I, which I think is decent. Yeah. Uh, and um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it could have been, a lot worse, right? I mean, if I didn't have those write-offs, God knows what it would have been, right? 10K, yeah. 11K, it would have been, 12K. Yeah. It would have been worse, but at the same time, it's almost like a good learning experience from the first year of merch because now you know that you're making more in 2017, so now you know that you're going to have to spend even more. Absolutely, man. Um, so it is a good learning process, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely. So... Um, and that's what I'm looking forward to doing. I mean, not looking forward to spending more money on things, but I know I'm I'm definitely gonna have to spend way more money this year than I did last year. And and and, and, and it's that's, harder. that's just learning, yeah. That's yeah, just and, learning. And, and it's harder for this particular business model because we don't. It's like we were saying before, we're not selling anything. Uh, uh, we're not selling a physical product, right? Yeah. So we don't have any cost of goods, and so yeah. we have to we, we have to be creative right like okay well what service are we using what digital products are we using um things like that so uh be creative and don't again guys don't be afraid because i promise you next year if you guys don't invest into your business it might hurt you so just be careful yeah and even if you're making low end let's say for the whole year you made 500 to a thousand bucks i mean you're still gonna have to report that that you got that in even though they might may not give you a 1099 for every you know huge amount or something even if it's small I mean, you're probably still going to get something right because it is income whether it's 30 bucks 300 bucks 500 mm -hmm. bucks i mean you're still going to get it um 
but at least just to grow from one year to the next learning from that and let's say you do you know make way more let's say in december comes around you hit a thousand bucks i mean you're still getting income from something you you didn't have last year because merch is still very new especially if you just got in um mm -hmm. you know stuff to just keep in mind when it comes to the tax time yeah absolutely so guys again uh i'm not an accountant but i can tell you this much <laughs> don't be afraid to invest into your merch account or your i shouldn't say your merch account but your merch business because uh, uh whenever you buy products or services you can definitely write that off and you're kind of cutting it kind of close what's today april 11th yeah man dude <laughs> it, it, you know what we we we, we, <laughs> we were supposed to do this back on the third uh and then he messaged me saying that he was out of town so he rescheduled me and then i said well no i can't do that day and then i it, it was a lot of confusion uh between both of us and and finally uh we nailed it down to today i went in and got it done so um I'm, I'm glad i'm glad it's done and over with though yeah so am i <laughs> i mean this this is like the one day out of the year the year that i just i seriously stress out because i just hate doing taxes yeah and then now um i actually got on that um like three month plan you know oh, so yeah okay. so i i actually just did my taxes for 2017 and it's due on the 18th but since i'm barely coming in coming in from out of town i already filed it um so they, they're just gonna take like i think it's every let's see my next one i think is due in uh, june june september and the first of 2018 is what they okay. have me at so okay um yeah i'm trying to get that we'll see how that goes and see that helps out and i don't know we'll see First time ever doing that, but yeah, yeah. No, I'll let um, you know. Let me know because I'm kind of curious how that's yeah, gonna work. But uh, for sure. So this yeah. this episode though, I I I contacted Young. I was like, you know what? I really want to do this because I've gotten different comments and uh, emails on on fonts, and I know we did an introduction on typography, where to get fonts, a little bit about it, what we know. Um, but this is going to be a totally different show to where I want to go through seven different websites that offer free fonts. Last time we went through just different sites that we like, some you have to pay for, things like that. But this is purely free because a lot of this has to do with the newbies getting into merch and they're asking, you know, different questions on free fonts because they're at maybe tier 10 they don't have they don't have a lot of money to spend right now because they want to just get in have 10 designs and then grow from there so it's totally understandable mm -hmm. these are 10 these are uh, seven free websites of uh, font websites that we use that i want to go this is you can save this podcast to where you're close to a computer and i'm literally going to walk through all of these sites how to download them how to properly search them and also reading, um, you know, about the font and how you can use it, personal use or commercial use. And uh, we talked about this. I think that other intro uh, typography intro um, uh, podcast, I guess that show about knowing how you can use the fonts. Right. 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 Remember that? And what was, mm -hmm. what was that file called exactly? Usually they're like a TXT file or something, right? Like a... There's usually like a, a TXT file, yeah. Yeah, just like a font and how to use it. Um, yeah. How to do use call it? that exactly? A license? <laughs> there, you see? That's why I have you on this podcast. <laughs> you, you tell me these things, you know, when I can't think about them, and you're like, you know what? License. That License, terms of use, you know, agreement, maybe those type of things. That's what I'll have you here for, Young. I got your back, homie. That's what I like to hear. Even though you got a <laughs> funny ass hair today. <laughs> yeah, I finally got a haircut. I just didn't comb it, so now it just looks like a small rug on my head. It looks more like a. It looks more like a raccoon. <laughs> like a coon skin. Something. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so let's start off with. Uh, we talked about this. Oh wait. All right. Let me start out. I'm getting too pumped up and riled up.
<laughs> so open up, <laughs> open up browser, <laughs> more likely Chrome, which is what I like to use. But open up Chrome. Like I said, if you're not on your computer, on your laptop, desktop, whatever you use, save this podcast for later. This is literally going to walk through these websites. So you can you have to look at them in order for this to work. You can't just listen to this and think, okay, well, I'll look at it later. This is good for you to go through the site. All right, so we're going to go through the first off, defont.com. We talked about this last time, how we like to use this site, but we're going to start off from the very beginning. Defont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. So you're going to go there, put that in, and you're going to start off with the homepage has, what I like about this, the top part has different categories, fancy, foreign look, techno, all of this stuff. What I would recommend to do first is on the very left, right under their banner ad, you can click on new fonts. So click on that. And then you're going to see um, probably like an upper middle part in a gray bar. It says new fonts and there's like 130 pages. So right below that, there's a little bar. It says preview fonts. There's 20 um, show variants, size, medium, a little submit bar or submit thing. Right next to that, there's more options um, in just simple black text. You're going to click on that. And then all these new things are going to come out where you can check off the little, the little boxes. Um, this is extremely important and you need to do this so you can narrow it down to only the free fonts. So now we have only as public domain, 100% free, free for personal use, all of that. I, cl I always click on 100% free and then the public domain one will click on its own. Once you do that, you click submit. And now all of the fonts, at least the newer ones that are free, will all be there ready to go. You can download any of those um, on the very right-hand side. They have a download in gray, like a gray little box. You can download any of these, and they are 100% free. Do you use the font that much, Young? I personally don't. So from my experience, the font, um, these are more... Uh, Oh gosh, what do you call them? Um, these are more. Uh, th there's a there's a term for it, and I can't think of it. Um, and um, anyways, these are like more of the 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 more fun fonts. You know, th they have a little more character to them. Um, uh, that's what the font is. Uh, there's a lot of uh, people who provide free fonts, but at the same time, make sure you read the license because sometimes they'll ask for a donation. Uh, because um, if you if you do provide a donation, they will give you a a premium license to use it for yeah. for uh, commercial use, and yeah. and I'm sure and I'm sure Glenn's going to go over that here in a second. But um, uh, but always always regardless of what site that you guys go on to get your um your fonts, always look for that license. Yeah, the license is going to be extremely important and. Most of the work has already been done for you here, like with Defont. Once you narrow it down to the 100% free, so when you download it, more than likely it will come with the license. You can read that just to double check to make sure you're fine. But with Defont.com and narrowing it down, more than likely you are good. So, but you can double check that stuff. There's a lot of different fonts to go through. There are a lot of fun fonts, like Young was saying. But there's also pretty good ones that you can you can even go through like serif, sans serif, um, different themes and stuff if you want to go through that. But I just yeah. went through the new fonts just as an example. But if you go back, you want to go through the themes, then the same thing happens. Go to a sans serif and then that same little middle bar, um, click on more options and then go to 100% free. So that will work out for you. And defont.com is actually my personal favorite. Um, but there's six other ones we got to go through. But defont.com is really, really good. I, I remember the term now. These are more novelty fonts. Yeah, there's a lot of novelty fonts on here for mm -hmm. sure. So. Yeah, so you can go through those. Um, the next one is uh, urbanfonts.com. And you can go to just urbanfonts.com. And then on the top bar, you can click on free fonts. 
So here's the thing with this website. You click on free fonts. Now we see a bunch of them, right? Um, there's at least, dang, like 2,300 pages <laughs> <laughs> of fonts. And uh, at least for me right now, going through the site, the first one is Beautify, what? Beautify Script. Beautify That's the first script. one that comes out. Yeah. That's the first mm -hmm. one that comes out. Um, now, if you notice, there's a little download button on the lower right hand of all of these boxes. Now, these they all say are free. But there's nothing else that comes out here that actually tells you. I mean, they actually have them in different categories. But this one is you really have to double check. So you can download any of these right off the bat. As soon as you click that button, uh, your zip file will open or at least download for you. Um, and then there we go. You have all of the TTF files and then you'll have the TXT with the terms. Um, in this case, I clicked on ruler stencil, which is the last one. And um, it says on here, terms and conditions. So let's just read the terms just to see what it actually says. It says fonts are free for personal projects and nonprofit organizations. The license is royalty free for any kind of project worldwide or for one individual slash company. So I think it is kind of funny though that on the terms, they kind of separated it like free for personal projects. <laughs> but then on the third one, they put the license is royalty free for any kind of project uh, for one individual or company. So, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> so, I, so I didn't download it. So, so, so say that again for one individual or company. Yeah. Okay. And then it says for a commercial license, this is the middle, the middle bullet visit and it has lorem epsom .ro, or write to levy at lorem epsom .ro. So you see uh, how they kind of, yeah. yeah, that was the middle, that was the middle bullet. I just read to you guys where it says, oh yeah, it's free, which you might be like, okay, cool. Free for any project, free for any, any individual. But in this case for merch, it is for commercial use. And you have to email them to see, they're probably gonna have you get a premium service for that font, or maybe you could just email them and then they'll say, hey, yeah, no, it's cool, you can use it. It just depends on whoever made this font. Mm -hmm. Now that's the tricky thing when it comes to this website and some of the other ones on there that you've already heard of that we're gonna go through too, that you have to double check with this stuff because it was very easy for me to just download any of these fonts ready to go. And then if I didn't read that term, then that's totally different. You know, just me ignoring it. But I want to make sure you guys know how to use these just in case you don't know. Because like I said, I've gotten emails this past week. A lot of people that just get, you know, got right into merch that do have these font questions. So um, if you're a seasoned veteran in merch, this probably doesn't really apply to you unless there may be fonts or, I mean, websites you haven't really heard of. But for a lot of the newbies that have just came in, I think this will definitely help. Uh, so that was urbanfonts.com, uh, and you have to be really, really careful when you go through that. Um, next one is a uh, 1001 free fonts. So that's going to be 1001freefonts.com. Have you used this one or not, uh, Young? I'm going to be honest with you. I think... Other than the font, most of these I've never used. I get I, I purchase all my fonts. That's right. Um, that's right. We so, just talked about tax write-offs. Yeah. So so I purchase all my fonts. Um, well, not not necessarily for tax reasons. I mean I mean that's a big part of it. But also it's just for me. Uh, I think it's the most it's the uh, more ethical thing to do. Mm -hmm, plus, mm -hmm. I just I just don't want to run into any problems down the road. I mean I'm sure these 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 uh sites are legit but i personally yeah. never use them and i don't know too much about them uh so i prefer just purchasing my fonts and that way i get the premium license and i don't have any issues whatsoever yeah yeah totally makes sense and like i said this is kind of like for the newbies that mm -hmm. haven't have made any money yet on merch and maybe they were really just trying to learn a little bit more which is good and um this one this uh, 1001 free fonts this is another one um, to be careful on. So as soon as you go in, um, let me just upload it, uh, update this. Okay, so once you go in, you already have fonts. It says page one of like 1800, um, today's date, everything. 
And um, they have these in like little bars too. They give you a little example of what the font is called. And then we have a download button in black. Now this one though is different than Defont because I really don't see any way to, I guess, narrow this down um, to only the, um, I guess, commercial use because mm. since this is 1001 free fonts, they're pretty much telling you that all of these are free, which yes, they are. But then, but then, I, see, but then I see a bunch of, but I, I didn't mean to cut you off, but then I see a lot, uh, a bunch of, donate to designer uh to mm -hmm. designer buttons so maybe if you guys click on that 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 might give you an option to uh get a premium font yeah and that's what i think that this one and this is a good site too but i think it is a little deceiving if you think that oh well it says 1001 free fonts then everything must be free which it is yes but not for commercial use and um, when you go down, you'll see right above the download button, uh, free for personal use, free uh -huh. for personal use. You'll see that over and over and over. If you keep going and you go through page by page, there are different ones, but that's what really you're gonna have to pay attention to. So the second page, I saw one called convincing. That one, public domain. So that one is free for you to use whatever you want. But a lot of these, uh, free for personal use. You actually have to go kind of deep into these page by page um, to really see what is free for commercial use. So uh, there's also some demo ones. That, yeah, I see one that says demo. Yeah, yeah, some demo ones on there too. So you have to be careful with this one. And I know this one was highly recommended with a couple of other uh, groups that I've been in and yeah. just be careful of this one. So only, I think, not until I got until page seven, um, this Divine Condensed or Divine Condensed was actually just free, period. That was the only one that I found so far seven pages in. So this one is also a good warning, I guess, if you haven't gone into a lot of the font websites, at least now you know. Okay, cool. This is a good one, but I got to be careful. I still so, wouldn't use it. <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> even though it says free, I personally would not use it. Yeah, I mean, you really have to be careful with this stuff if you do want to use this one. Um, but maybe Defont.com is the only one you have to use, and maybe you're fine from there. Um, but if you want to give this one a shot, there's other ones too. But I think also too, going through all these sites, you're going to see a lot of the same ones over and over again. Mm -hmm. Because if, if they're 100% free, a lot of these sites, they really just kind of feed off of each other. Yeah. Right? So you are going to see a lot of the same ones over and over. Um, all right. So the next one, I remember this one from, actually from graphic design school. They, I, we might have talked about this one before, but fontsquirrel.com. I heard of it. Again, I've yeah. never used it. So Yeah. This one is also interesting because fontsquirrel.com, as soon as you bring it up, you notice that their logo, where the little squirrel is on their banner, right above their name, it says 100% free for commercial use. Where do you see that at? It's uh, right, so they have like kind of like a purple banner, right? Okay. And uh, where the logo is, it says font squirrel, all huge, and there's a squirrel right there, and he's yeah. like in gray. Right above font, the big word font, it says 100% free for commercial use. I don't see kind that. Kind of small. Kind of small. Oh, okay. Okay. I see it. Yeah. So if you're a, a merch designer, you're like, well, hey, 100% free for commercial use. Now that I'm here, look at all these fonts I can go through. But then again, you got to be careful. So that's why I'm saying a lot of these are deceiving, but that's why I'm here for you. <laughs> because hustler hacks <laughs> he cares for the people you know and he that's why people that's why i want to go through these fonts and these websites because they are very deceiving and honestly if i didn't know i'd be downloading these fonts left and right <laughs> because there's a lot of good ones on here so going through this one you go through let's say this one's a little different too because right off the bat you can easily see like a first eight to ten fonts they give you a little example. Here's what they're called. The second one here is called Intro Rust. That one kind of caught my eye. 
And um, here's how you read this site. Now you see the little blue arrows. You probably see it too young, right? Yep. The little says blue arrow site. Yeah. Yeah. So download OTF. So there, you know, you can download the fonts. But if you notice, some of them say download TTF. Some of them say download OTF in parentheses off site. So when you click on that, that's going to take you to a completely different website. If we click on that intro Rust, and the funny thing is is that some of them are free and some of them aren't. So now, because <laughs> all of those off-site ones that you see it in the in the blue little arrow take you to a completely different website. And I'm like, man, where am I going here? So the next one you click on, let's say um, uh, two or three of them below that, I see Cuesta. Click on that one, also an off-site. Now that one's taking me to Font Spring. And there is a free regular one, but there's also a bunch of the other ones, medium, italic, all of those, and they're $25 per. $25 for just medium, $25 for just italic, and all of these, um, I'm pretty sure you can use for what you want to use it for, but I do not, oh man, I think going off site and going through all of these, I think there's a lot of little technicalities that you probably don't really know that kind of throws you off here because this website like, Oh man, hundred percent free for commercial use. But next thing you know, it's taking me to somewhere else. Yeah. You know, anytime a site uh, takes you to a offsite, uh, you, you need to, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm sure the site's legit, but you just gotta be yeah. careful. You just have to be yeah. careful. Um, Cause at the end of the day, uh, it's your responsibility, not theirs. Uh, so just, just, be careful yeah and and this one i clicked on i think is maybe 20 down called rubik that one just says download ttf so now i clicked on that one and that one has an open uh font license let's see uh, 2015 copyright and man this one has <laughs> definitions permission and conditions terminations disclaimers these guys did not mess around they ain't messing around man and it looks like yeah. you can looks like on some of these you can download the whole type family mm -hmm. some of them do have the full families mm -hmm. you can download the mom the dad the son the full <laughs> family <laughs> for this font if you want to but this one okay so this one says uh rubik the one that i clicked on um, let's see, open font license to support font creation efforts of academic, let's see, communities, and to provide a free and open framework which fonts may be shared and improved in partnership with others. <laughs> this is a lot of terms to read. And, um, okay, permission is hereby granted free of charge to any person obtaining a copy of the font software to use, study, copy, merge, embed, modify, redistribute, and sell modified and unmodified copies of the font software subject Wait, to the what? following conditions. <laughs> so this site has, yeah, they're, they're giving you permission, but they have certain conditions for that permission. Okay, so, so that itself is confusing alone. So I would just, me personally, I wouldn't even bother, man. It just, anytime yeah. I get confused, <laughs> me, me, you know, me personally, that, that's just a sign that, hey, don't even mess with it. But they're, they're trying know. to stump us here with these, some of these sites, like some of these fonts. I'm like, man, like, yeah, yeah, I, I agree with Yang. When there's a lot of, keep this in mind, there's millions of fonts out there. And if there's one that you are a little confused about because these terms are a little shady because of the wording. Uh, I would I would just stay away. <laughs> I, would, I, I, I wouldn't bother with it because that's that's that's, that's just what me. I. And yeah. you know and you know what, like always, we're always gonna have someone email us or message us saying, "Well, you guys are wrong." Hey, we may be. I just like I said, I just hate being confused. And yeah. I like to be safe when it comes yeah, to my merch. I just I, I just don't want to be confused. You know, I just whatever. It's the same for me. <laughs> All right, so Font Squirrel, which is also a highly recommended site. But that's why I like to go through the details of it mm -hmm. because you have to double check a lot of this stuff. So right now, 
the font.com has been very safe for us because we get to narrow it down and we just get to double check the uh um, you know, the conditions or whatever, and we just continue on with our day. This one was a little bit more complicated. You get sent to different websites. If you go off site, maybe you didn't know about that. So um, that one I think was a good one to kind of go through because it is highly recommended and highly talked about. Um, next one, let me go back. You can go to developers.google.com slash fonts. So this is uh, the Google's page. Yes, sir. Have you done this before? I know of it. I've never used it. Oh, okay. So developers.google.com slash fonts. And you're going to see three blocks in the middle of this site. Simple to use, and then in blue, free to use, and then in greenish type of color, devel uh, developer API. Or API, sorry. Go to free to use in the middle. And you can see uh, free, uh, see available fonts. You click on that. Now we open up Google Fonts, and we have 818 font families. Uh, so these are free to use, period. You can go through all of these. And what I like about these is these are, um, you'll see there's a lot of probably some of the ones you've seen before, like lobster. Lobster <laughs> is everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> That's, that, that, that was the reason I'm, I was laughing, because it's like everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I know, lobster, man. Um, and I think, so you can go through all these. There's are pretty good ones on here that are actually pretty good to use just in general type if you um, want to keep it very simple. Uh, but you can click on the little like plus sign of each one of these. And then uh, it says like family selected. When you click on family selected in the bottom, there is a download button. And it does go through the little, I guess, details about the font. Um, but this one is nice and clean. I really do like how Google Fonts did this. Right. Um, now, Glenn, you know. do, do you know? Um, I mean, I think anything, I think it's fair to say that anything that Google puts out is legit. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you know if these are for uh, personal or commercial or both? Well, that's the thing. It does tell you um, when you download. So after that, you go to the down download button after you click on the families that are selected. Mm hmm click on download and then it will download it to the zip file. And there you go into kind of the same thing to where you will get the font and you will get the, the license. Okay, so it's, in, so it's in the zip file. Yeah, it's on the zip file. So it's the same thing. I mean, you will have to double check this too with the license, but it is a different way of seeing it um, as far as like how they did it. You can see the different sentence um, you can see how bigger, um, I guess, the pixels to see the uh, the sentence to see how that looks different. You can try things out a little bit differently. They do have it set up differently than all the other sites um, that you can look for. But then again, there is a license on here. I'm not saying everything on here is 100% free for you to use commercially. You will have to double check with this site as well Absolutely. when you download the font. Sure. The fonts. All right, so that was the Google Fonts. Now we have two more. Talk now to this me. one. Yeah, <laughs> fontspace.com. Never heard of it. Never heard of this. Nope. Okay. Um, what you can do is you can go to um, popular, which is in the very top bar in blue, white lettering. Click on popular. Um, and then you'll see them again. And what's, what this one is kind of different is that on the right-hand side, you can see kind of like the overall example that more than likely the person that made this font kind of threw out there for their little, I guess, like a little promo mm -hmm. picture. Um, and it's always good to see. It's, it's kind of yeah. cool to see how they design it onto like a little background or things like that. So you'll see that on the right-hand side. You'll see how many downloads people have rated, a couple of stars. And the left hand side, you'll see the name uh, and stylized in that font. So before you straight up download, which is, um, you'll see it kind of grayed out, you know, below the font name. Before you download it, you have to hover over it. This will save you time. <laughs> hover over it. And right below that little sample picture, you're going to see a little lock that says 
personal use only. Yep. You'll hover over the next one, personal use only, personal use only, and they keep going. Um, and you'll see some that eventually will tell you they're free or not, but a lot of these are also personal. Okay, here we go. So um, the second page, this one's actually kind of funny that it even has this. Uh, new Walt Disney font, regular. And this one is actually commercial use friendly. Uh, you see, oh yeah, hold on, hold on. You yeah. See how that one's a little, a little yeah. iffy. I, 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 I have a problem with that because that. You know what's kind of funny though? I've seen this font not only like on shirts, but local businesses have used these, like daycares. Oh really? <laughs> Yeah. 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 See, I I would question this one. Um, and for those of you guys that's obviously listening, uh, this font resembles exactly the font that uh, Walt Disney used. So I would uh, I would be a little careful. What you know, even though it says commercial use friendly, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to tell you, you know, whether it is or isn't, you know, because yeah. again, I've I've personally never used this website. I've never even heard of it up until today. So, um, yeah, I, I can't, you know, I, I would definitely question it, though. Yeah. And you can keep going down. Um, I think the next one, Great Vibes, that one is uh, commercial use friendly, and they show you the little thumbnail. And that one you can just straight up download, read the license, and that's it. But at least this one, like I said, all of these kind of have these uh, fonts set up in a different way, the way you can view them. This mm -hmm. one did have the little thumbnail, seeing it on a background or however the designer showed it as an example. The other one, font scroll took you off site <laughs> on some of them. Uh, the font yeah. narrowed them down to just the free ones. Um, urban fonts was also a little bit different that they, um, you know, they didn't show you kind of like how it was on these with little thumbnails. Um, but you can go through page by page. So a lot of different things. That one is font space. And like I said, you're probably going to see a lot of the same fonts over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, so the last one, this one is actually from a blog site. And this one actually caught my attention because I was like, hey, some of these are actually kind of cool. I haven't really seen a lot of these on the basic sites, I guess. Um, this one if you're really looking into kind of like that, um, I don't know, handwritten type of fonts or like script or, or, yeah. or lettering. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. I think this one's more for you if you're into that. Um, but you will have to do some dirty work to get some of these <laughs> fonts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this one. <laughs> You're gonna have to click on the link that that uh, we're gonna put in the description. This one is actually kind of actually kind of long. Um, creative blog, but instead of with a G for blog, it's with a Q. Block blog, right? Okay. So kind of combining the both. Uh, creativeblock.com typog uh, slash typography slash best dash handwriting dash fonts dash one two one two one five two seven now you know why you're gonna have to click on the link yeah in the you're gonna have to you, that'll be in the show notes yeah, uh, I'm, yeah i'm not yeah. gonna try and type that myself yeah. man yeah please, re re please repeat that for us just kidding. no so, because you could... <laughs> <laughs> so in this thing they have 50 great free handwriting fonts um when you go through these they all have kind of like that same thumbnail of how the designer had it onto a little background so you can see it in different ways. Um, there's one of them called Strawberries. It looks more tasty when you use this font. Wow. So, yeah, I know, wow. tasty. So they have a number, they have them numbered one to 50 and you go one, two, three, four, right next to the number, they have the name of the font and you're gonna, you're gonna wanna click on the actual name now. What I mean by dirty work is that all of these take you to another website. Oh, that by, one does again. Yeah, but this one, <laughs> this one goes to actually um, from the designer's website. Okay. So this is kind of cool because this takes you straight to the designer's either blog, website, or Behance. 
um, site. So you can and, go through. MD Hash is very it. reputable. Yeah. So you get to go through all three of those. Uh, it, it'll take you to one of those three. Um, so when you go through it, then when I clicked on that, um, which one did I click on? Oh, I clicked on that strawberries one, which is called Rice or Reese. Um, I guess is probably part of the designer's name. Um, and it says free font. Um, download for free has different examples, different ways you can use it, and different little uh, backgrounds and things like that. Um, so you can download for free, click on that, and then um, um, you can put in zero dollars if you want to, because now you're going through that designer's site, and so from there, it'll you can download it, you can probably leave them a donation or but in the end you are going to have to read the um the license the terms yeah the license but what i like about this one is that if you're into more of those handwritten type of designs you know this is more for you because i think they're kind of hidden on all the other ones um but this one you can just straight up see how they look and little backgrounds and how they use them. So that one might be a little bit more for you if you're into that. Um, so those are the seven um, that you can use. Personally, I use defont.com. I like to narrow it down to the free ones. I can just read their license and continue on my day. Yang likes to keep it safer, paying for them, knowing that he can use these for commercial use, Absolutely. and he gets to write them off for a tax write-off. Mm -hmm. And for those of you guys that are interested, uh, in where I purchase most of my fonts. I purchase 95% of my fonts I purchase from myfonts.com. And again, I'll have that uh I'll have the link in the show notes. But it's not to say that I've never used that font. I've I've used it a handful of times. Uh, there was a font that I that I found on the font. Um, I contacted the author, asked him how much I can donate. Uh, he sent me an invoice through PayPal. I paid them, and uh, uh, you know, the, you, you keep the invoice from PayPal, and that's that's your proof that uh, uh, that you, that you pay the guy. So, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. And so that's why I kind of wanted to cover this, and hopefully, you guys liked. I guess this kind of show of instead of just kind of saying, you know, yeah, do this or yeah, do that, we literally went through the sites together, and we can see how to do it or um, things to look out for. Um, just to make sure you're playing it safe, how to download the fonts, and especially for um, you know your first tier, first 10 shirts, at least you know a little bit more about fonts. So when you tier up to 25, you know exactly what you're doing and mm -hmm. no more questions asked. Even though you can still ask us questions. But yeah, at least and, you know, and, and if you don't want to download fonts initially, you can always... So here's the thing. I've, you know, I, I've had people ask me this, and again, I personally don't know myself. I don't know all the all the rules and, and, and the details, but people would ask, well, can I use the, the pre-installed fonts that was loaded on my computer when I first bought it? Mm -hmm. Depending on who you ask, you're going to get a different answer. Yeah. Me, yeah, personally, I would say it's a fair game. Um, I've used pre-installed fonts myself for commercial purposes. Um, uh, that's just how it is. I mean, if someone's going to come back and and uh, give me a hard time about it. Well, I don't know. I mean, what am I going to do? Maybe I'll maybe I'll just go out and buy a license for that particular font, and I don't know. Uh, yeah. But but uh, yeah, I in my opinion, I think pre-installed fonts that came with your machine should be okay. But again, depends you know, who you ask. Depends on who you ask. I could be wrong. Um, I've never said I was an expert, so um, so you can go that route as well. You you don't have to download fonts uh, in the beginning. Yeah. So very true, Young. Thanks for that. That's just the way it is, right? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it just made me laugh because you're like, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is, man. That's just the way it is. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So, yeah, so that's pretty much the show. Um, so we're actually recording the show a little early today because Glenn is leaving for New York tomorrow. Oh yeah, yes sir. Uh, yeah, forgot about right. that. Just kidding. So, 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 by the time this episode is uploaded, uh, he'll be in New York City. Uh, are you excited? I'm pumped. Um, I haven't packed yet, 
and uh, I got to do that actually right after this podcast. I got to I got to pack, get everything ready. Um, a lot of uh, I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. So if you want to nice. go to Hustler Hacks YouTube channel, um, I'll make sure I get everything in, everything that I can record. I'm charging up the batteries right now for the camera and the GoPro and whatever else I have here. So I got a lot of work to do while I'm out there because I definitely want to document everything that I'm doing. Um, a lot of people have been looking forward to to see, I guess, what happens meeting Gary Vee and what mm -hmm. VaynerMedia looks like and seeing it, I guess, from you know from my eyes instead of just seeing it on, on his channel and how that works. So, yeah, I'm super pumped, ready to go. Well, not really because I have to pack, but I'll have all this stuff ready to go on my channel. Hey, so I dare you. Okay, when you get there, <laughs> go up to Gary. And I dare you, okay? We'll see how big of a man you are. Go up to him and tell him, tell him, go out and get it. Just go up to his face. <laughs> just go up to his face and be like, go out and get it. <laughs> and, and yell, get, yell into his face, go out and get it. And next thing you know, I'm being the, escorted. And the thing is, the and the thing is, you have to, you have to capture it on video. Otherwise, we're not gonna. <laughs> otherwise, we're not gonna believe you, right? Yeah, that's true. I'll, I'll so, you'll never know I'm there. <laughs> so that's so, so so that's cool, man. So so you're flying out tomorrow. Now I I'm supposed to be leaving for New. Uh, I almost said New York. I'm supposed to be going to Oregon, but I still don't know yet. Unfortunately, my boss wasn't in the office today, so I couldn't confirm with her. Uh, but I do remember her saying that I had to go to Oregon uh, a few weeks back. Uh, so I need to <laughs> I need I need to confirm that with her tomorrow. Um, but either way, uh, you guys will obviously uh, have this episode this week. And don't worry, we're not going to forget about you. Um, Glenn, will be, Glenn should be back from New York by then. But if I am out of town, um, I'm still, we're still going to release another episode tomorrow. I'll do it from the road. That's the beauty of uh, having a laptop and technology. Um, but yeah, Glenn, anything else before we go? Um, I guess how, how can they contact you? Yeah, if you guys want to get a hold of me, uh, you can email me, young, Y-O-N-G, at geekhustle.com. Uh, go to the website, sign up for my newsletter, because I, I uh, give some really good advice on uh, merch and design in general. Glenn, what about you? Um, Hustlerhacks, the number one, at gmail.com. And you can go to my uh, YouTube channel. You can leave a comment. I'll get back to you there too, or the Merch Minds Facebook group. You can ask us anything, talk to us, uh, leave us a comment, whatever you want. So any of that all works for me. Absolutely. And by the way, that uh, that group is filling up really fast. Oh yeah, I know. We, I know. We moved it up to a thousand, and now we're like almost there to a thousand. Yeah. So um, <laughs> and we and we've said that we're gonna cap it off at a thousand, and at some point, people who don't really participate in the group we are going to remove them so if it is full just go ahead and put a request in anyway and um, maybe in the next few weeks we'll go through some of the members and see who are actively participating and then uh, remove them and add some new members because the whole point of us the whole point of us doing that is we always said from the get-go that we want a group where everyone participates right I mean if if you guys just want to join the group and just lurk, uh, well, this group isn't for you. There's other groups out there that you can do that. Um, our group, again, we want it to be different. We want everyone to participate because that's the only way you're going to learn. Yeah, and there's been a lot of good newbies that are participating right off the bat, which I like because they, yeah. they have questions. They just got into merch. Hey, how do I do this? Hey, what about this? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of other good you know, members that are just stepping in right off the bat. Hey, do this. Hey, do that. So I think that's really, really cool. Great for the community to grow. Um, but like you said, um, you know, the lurkers, they're not really helping in any way. So we may, maybe we will go down to 500. Maybe we'll go to 800. I really don't know, but we do want to go through and, and make sure we have a nice, good elite Facebook group, right? Nice. Elite. I like that. Elite. Elite. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, no, I mean, so far, everyone's been really cool. Um, yeah. I love interacting with everyone. And, you know, if and if you guys are sending me messages, you know, sometimes it might take me a couple of days to get back to you, but I promise I will get back to you. 
He's a man of his word. Believe me. I am. <laughs> cool, man. All right. So well, thanks, guys, for listening. And uh, once again, if you want to head over to merchcandy.com slash merchminds and give them a shot, you'll get two free designs uh, when you sign up. So take a look at that. Also, if you're in the Facebook group, you can also see a little post about it, too, if you're still interested. Take you right to the link. So thanks, guys, again. Glenn with Hustler Hacks. Young. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.